Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video we're gonna cover the git restore uh, command. So it's a powerful command as well. So with this command what you can do is like if you already have changes on the stage and arena or area, then you can unstage them. So I'll show you how to do it uh, in practice. I think that will make more sense than me explaining it. So let's just uh, dive right into it. All right, so let's just make a change to that file. So right now if you say um, git status, it's just gonna tell you like uh, you know you modified this right and here you can see that there is something that says git restore to discard the changes in the working directory so if you want to discard the changes that you've made to the to the file here you can just issue the command git restore and then you can just say dot for all the files so if you want to restore all the files or you can just say uh, git restore and just the name of the file so contact html so since right now it's just one file it doesn't matter which one we use but if i change the index.html then we'll have two files and then you have to choose one so let me let me do that right now so let me just go to index and say hello world all right so now if you want if you issue the command git status so now you have two files that have been modified and yeah, let me just make this a little bit bigger I guess uh, too big I guess <laughs> alright so if you wanna restore the files to whatever they were before you started changing them you can say git restore all the files or we'll just say the contact file contact the HTML alright so once you issue that command so as you can see now the contact HTML is not highlighted like the index.html that's because it's been put back to whatever it was before so now it just says contact so the only one that we also let's just issue git status and it won't appear here anymore see now it only shows us if we just modify the index.html and that's because we use the git restore uh, and then we just restore the file to whatever it was before we started editing it All right. So let's just say git restore and let's restore uh, the index.html. So I can just give it the name or just say all the files. And now you can see that the index.html also has been restored to whatever it was before we started uh, changing it. So this is a powerful command. And let me show you how to use it once you already staged the changes so that you can unstage them. All right, so let's say hello world. So the same changes. So hello world space contact us something like that all right so let's say that right now git status you've modified them let's just add this to the staging area so now if you say git uh, status you'll see that they're modified and they're already in the staging area that's why uh, they come here as they come up as green so we have here the solution the you know the command that we have to implement it's not git restore just by itself anymore because right now it's in the staging area so to do to unstage them you have to say uh, git restore and then staged like that to unstage as you can see here so once we do this and then you can also say like you know you know dot for all the files or just staged and then the name of the file so let's just do index uh, contact the HTML this time All right, it's the same contact the HTML all right and now if you say git status you can see that this one is in the stage area and this one is not in the stage area so it hasn't been put back to whatever it was before because we just unstaged it so it's still changed if you if you want to restore it to whatever it was before then you have to additionally issue the command git restore and once again contact the HTML to put it back to what it was so let's just do that and as you can see right now it's contact uh, as contact us right so if you issue this command now it's gonna be contact now and if you say git status it's only the index HTML that's in the stage area all right so let's just uh, commit that file and with that we'll just finish just say added index the HTML change or content whatever right and let's just do git push alright 
so we haven't taken a look at this uh, at the repo so let's just uh, just reload it so that you can see that all the changes have been made here so and this is the the latest one that we just made hello world with the space all right so i think that's all for today uh, we covered uh, a really important one i think this one is pretty important if you just want to go back to the files without uh, if you don't remember what you changed then you just want to go back to whatever it was uh, before you start editing uh, you know certain file you can um, use this command the git restore so i've showed you how to unstage the changes and also how to put them back uh, how to put back the files to wherever they were so in the next tutorial we'll cover another command which is also pretty useful to check the history of the com of the you know of the changes that we've made of the commits and you can just go and see you can go to the files that were in that commit so i'll show you that on the next um on the next video so if you uh, enjoyed these videos uh, just don't forget to subscribe you know leave a like leave a comment uh share it with other people and i'll see you on the next one thank you